Shalom, everybody. Let's be joyful and let's be abiding in the Spirit of the Lord uh, as we study the Scriptures so that uh, as we are on our way to Pesach for all the necessary things to happen and let's get filled with all these things that are necessary which are uh, the Spirit of the Lord and His Word. So, weekly Torah portion is Tazria and it, it translates as She Conceives uh, it's uh, Leviticus uh, 12, 1 through 13, uh, 59. Uh, we've got some commandments regarding uh, rituals after childbirth in uh, chapter number 13. Uh, we've got uh, laws concerning leprosy. You know, that's one of uh, the translations. It's uh, either leprosy or some skin disease or, you know, etc. Uh, well, uh, and it's hard to actually uh, connect uh, this disease with uh, something contemporary, something modern. Because, um, uh, well, the disease that is mentioned in chapter 13 is different from uh, scientific definition of leprosy. And also we read this, um, that this kind of leprosy in Leviticus 13 actually can also happen on clothes, which is, you know, something off for us and so rituals that are uh, listed in the in the Torah uh, are different from what they would have been concerning disease that can be transferred that's contagious in the Holy Scriptures uh, we can see that leprosy happened to people because of their sin let's say uh, deceit uh, and uh, envy uh, now uh, King Hosea uh, second Chronicles uh, when Leviticus did wrong uh, slander uh, we read that uh, it's uh, concerning Miriam uh, when when she uh, was talking things, you know, about Moses having a wife not of uh, not from I Israelites, and so um, uh, it's number uh, twelve one uh, when she said, uh, "Has the Lord indeed spoken only through Moses?" And so uh, the Lord actually punished Miriam with leprosy, and so. Uh, what can we see here is that there are there were no uh, physical um, reasons for leprosy only some inner problems and uh, person who was sick with that they would be isolated and they would have to ponder on their life on their heart uh, until they are clean so I, I think that uh, all of this is still relevant for us today uh, well, and thank God that Tarat, which is leprosy, as it was described in the uh, Torah, well, we didn't have that anymore. But uh, um, and uh, we're talking about Hebrew. Uh, there are different types of words uh, that can describe slander, lies, and so on. Uh, and uh, in biblical terms, uh, any any sin that's that's connected with words is one of the worst ones. It's considered that slander. Uh, kills three people the one who speaks the one who speaks about uh, the one who is it spoken about and the third person is the one who hears it the newest lashonara which is slender uh, is um, something like cyberballing uh, it's it's when people attack each other you know with words instead of fists and weapons. For example, a person can be a target of anonymous uh, posts on, uh, on the web uh, and 
you know. Uh, nowadays, internet is the most uh, sophisticated tool of spreading lies and slander. Uh, internet improves communication, yes, but also helps avoid face-to-face -face, uh, communication, which actually can be useful, like uh, we can hold ourselves back in such a way, uh, but uh, there is a, a ability to post things anonymously uh, can actually stimulate some kind of a lie, slender and uh, uh, that kind of stuff, posting. And all of that actually affects not only youth, but uh, the way uh, the way society expresses its thoughts, its ideas. And it all leads uh, to people being more liberate uh, when it comes uh, to offending each other. They offend each other way more than if they were face to face. Uh, when you see someone face to face, it's hard to forget that this person is actually a living being, a human. You know, that they are alive, they have feelings, they have a heart, and uh, they are like us. But when it's not the case, uh, this this poison that's within us ca can be spread, you know, having destructive implications. And it's quite a problem nowadays. Slander can ruin relationship, can ruin communities, offends people's feelings, uh, breaks uh, things that are that make us one, and also it uh, stirs up our ego uh, and remove and actually affects the things that we have in common. And it's not the way things should be, right? Uh, we can find examples about Joseph and his brothers. Uh, like we can see that Joseph uh, would uh, actually slander his brothers yeah, when he would spoke uh, to his father. And uh, J uh, Joseph enticed hatred towards him from his brother because of what he had done. Uh, and it was one of the reasons why his brothers actually uh, uh, decided to sell, sell him into slavery. Uh, and the Hebrew has the word uh, deba for, for the way uh, Joseph uh, acted. And also the same word uh, actually is applied when spies came back from Canaan uh, with the bad report. So uh, the Lord did not let them enter the Promised Land because uh, their report wasn't good about it. And, uh, well, they had their punishment, right? Like they had to wander around the desert for 40 years. And, you know, people say that the, those who allow themselves uh, to be slanderous, they're like atheists. Uh, any kind of slander actually uh, ruins trust, uh, ruins connections, uh, ruins bonds. Uh, slander can ruin any uh, community uh, that has it. You know, it can be a team, it can be a country, a family. Uh, that's uh, that's how uh, uniquely dangerous it is. It ruins bonds, it ruins connections, uh, it ruins things that actually the tongue that um, was made for. Uh, and the bad thing is that usually uh, slander uh, hurts only one person, you know, it doesn't hurt you, though it doesn't hurt the person who does it. Uh, and so speaking is the gift of the Lord, and we've got to use it accordingly. Proverbs 12.18, there is one who speaks like the piercings of a sword, but the tongue of the wise promotes health. And you know, all that uh, brings to my attention uh, stories from the New Testament with um, lepers. He 
in Mark, uh, in the Gospel of Mark, uh, when uh, the leper was healed, Yeshua told him to go to uh, the high priest and testify about it, but not speak anything, right? But he did speak. He spread uh, the news of the healing, uh, and uh, but he shouldn't have done that, and it had its consequences too. Another example. Uh, and because of that, Yeshua couldn't uh, actually uh, plainly enter the city, so that actually hindered uh, God's move. Another example, New Covenant example, uh, Luke 17, 17, 18, when G Yeshua healed uh, 10 people, then he says, uh, were there not ten cleansed? Why were are the n uh, but where are the nine? Uh, were there not any found who returned to give glory to God except this foreigner? Yeah, right. Another problem arises. Uh, uh, the nine uh, had leprosy because they did not praise the Lord. It's just an idea, you know, like sometimes we have problems and uh, we can see, you know, problems mentioned in the scriptures and we can see that people having diseases meant that they had some problems, inner problems. So let's praise for the Lord to cleanse us from any hammers from any leaven and fill us with all the things that we need words from God and the Holy Spirit let us praise our Lord Yeshua Shabbat Shalom y'all you are invited to join us in prayer please please mute your phones if you haven't done that before for no distractions to be out there God glory to you we thank you for this Shabbat thank you that today we can come away to you leaving behind all the luggage with our worries anxieties uh, daily noise God, please bless us to ascend unto your holy mountain of transfiguration with a, with a light heart, with clean minds, to get filled with you, Yeshua. Glory to you, our Lord. We praise you. We thank you for your mercy and grace. Thank you for your Shabbat. Bless each and every one to rejoice and triumph for the sake of your glory, so that according to your mercy, everyone to be able to rejoice and be glad and merry. And it is good for us to praise the Lord, to sing a new song to the Holy One. We thank you. We are join in this Shabbat and we will praise you bless the praise and worship part bless the message part may your spirit work and let this Shabbat be the Shabbat of ascent the Shabbat of breakthrough bless each and everyone who will join us uh, in person or online glory to you Lord we will serve you with joy and fully praise your name you can see our hearts and our hearts are in your hands and please lord help each and every one to get open towards you and anticipate your love anticipate the feel feeling of your love and help us to experience you in a full way uh, our hearts they long for you they long for the holy one great god of israel thank you that you have uh, adopted us and we are not alone and you are our father bless our families them to grow stronger and uh, for your spirit to help us to build up the families bless the husbands uh, to be priests bless children to be obedient to their parents may your word enlighten us sanctify us 
and let our families grow more holy because of you great Lord we thank you and we pray for your wisdom in all of those things and may your families be delight for this world expanding their borders in the name of Yeshua blessed is the Lord of Abraham Isaac and Jacob thank you for this time of Shabbat thank you for your presence here and our prayer is for the salvation of young people of young hearts may the Passover uh, that you've prepared for each of them be active in this time may your work and will be done in their lives may this uh, longing for you this thirst for you be manifested Lord and break every enemy's chains and stop any enemy's plans may your Pesach uh, have its way in its fullness in the lives of your young people in every life may your glory and whatever you have in store for them uh, will be unfolded in the season of your Pesach Yeshua we bless your holy name you pre plead your Father in heaven so that we are one with each other as you are one with him and so our prayer is for you to teach us how to pray for our lips to be full with your love for our hearts to have more of your love so that when we uh, conversate your oneness would unfold not only in our congregation but uh, between congregations between other churches we pray for your unity to have its way in the body of Mashiach thank you for our community our Lord thank you for every brother every sister thank you for this place and this time and that we can gather together and thank you that you come before us and you fill this place with your presence thank you our God and thank you for our land and the land of Israel and thank you for your land of Ukraine uh, that you've given us and thank you that our community will become as an example will be as an example for the Christian world as an example of unity between Jews and non-Jews in one body that you created actually thank you for one flock and one people uh, one flock that's from inner court and outer court and that we will hear your voice and follow it in every way thank you that our country of Ukraine will be the light for the world and you'll create one people of Jews and non-Jews from those who are close, close and those who are near there's going to be one flock and peace in the land glory to you in the name of Yeshua hallelujah Blessed are you, the Lord our God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and who commanded us to get rid of Hamets. Lord bless us in this week before Pesach to see things that we should deal with in your light, where there is still this leaven that hinders us from switching to you on to you our goal is to get closer to you that's our goal for today for the upcoming week to actually ascend into your Pesach we really need it our Lord God we bless you we bless you Ruach right here right now we bless you and you please bless us with your triumphant joy right here make way for your joy and your victory for each and every one of us make way for your freedom make way for your freedom in our country in our land make way for your freedom in our lives whatever there is the spirit of the Lord there's liberty there's freedom Holy One, 
make way for your freedom and liberty right here in our lives. Lord, lead us out of any kind of bondage, fears, distrust, unbelief. May your freedom have its way right here. And we bless Israel at this day, at this hour. We bless your people and we pray for the exodus from any kind of religious captivity. Drive them out of slavery. Bring them into freedom. Lord, bless your people. We will praise Him. We offer everyone to join the round dance to praise our Lord. In the good and how pleasant for us to gather together here Хорошо, хвалите Господа, ибо Он благ. Praise the Lord, because He is. И милость Его победа. Хвалите Господа, ибо Он благ. И милость Его победа. Хвалите Господа, Ибо Он благ, и милость Его, и милость Его вовек. И не мато в ума наим живет таким дам йогат. Как хорошо и как приятно, и не мато в ума наим живет таким дам йога. Как хорошо и как приятно всем нам собраться вместе. How good and how pleasant for us to gather together here and praise our Lord. Because he is good and his mercy endures forever.
Gazdum We invite everyone to come forward to, and into the round dances and praise our Lord together. God, we are praising you, the Holy One. We are praising your name, this Shabbat.
lift up our voices to Him. Lord of Shabbat. Shabbos Kodesh, Shabbos Shabbos Kodesh,
давайте громко прославим Его. Будем продолжать славить Его. Let's praise Him loudly. Let's keep praising Him. We are praising You, the Holy One. Yeah. 
We are putting our trust in you. in your holy name. We are exalting you. We are proclaiming your victory. Because you are reigning. Glory to you. And all together, we clash in our heart. And you will lift up your voices. Yes, Lord, he is our God, and he conquered that victory, he's revealing.
sing one more time
We need to lose ourselves. That you have in your head and to lose your mind and enter his dance. And your father, your Yeah.
mighty one. You are the holy one.
prays aloud for the God of Gods. He, by his mighty hand, defeats all the enemies. Let Israel triumph in glory, shouting for our Lord. Our Lord is strong in battle. We'll bow down for our mighty Lord. We'll praise Him, dance and rejoice. in the trumpet, let the symbols win. All the nations will proclaim God's glory. Our God will come in glory. We will shout before God and bow down before Him. We will praise Him, dance and rejoice. defeating all the enemy.
Nigel. And you will defeat the enemy. Lord of Hosts. And you will defeat the enemy. By your mighty hand, will defeat all the enemies. That are standing against your people. Господь, you are our Lord, Lord of praise. And we are with you. And you are with us. Now, in this battle, this spiritual battle, we are standing. We are standing in the gap for our, for our Ukraine and for our Jewish people. No, it's for the Lord. We created everything that are visible and invisible. The Lord, the fathers of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. You are the one who created the earth and all the hosts. That war is prepared for the day of battle, but victory comes from the We will celebrate your victory. Victory. We will faith. We are making
славу в Украине, Господь. И прославится только Твое Святое Имя. Ни одно имя не прославится, кроме Тебя, Господь. There is no one but you, God. Oh, glory. You are the son of David, the king of Israel, the king of Ukraine.
miracles. He is today, tomorrow, and yesterday, same. Not only here, but и поднимает нас на святую гору Господню. Поднимает нас в славе Божьей, а не в славе человеческой. Поднимает нас в радости и в веселье, потому что смерть побеждена. И враг Сатан посрамлен. И поэтому Господь говорит в Слове Своем. No, Радуйся и веселись, черь Сиона! Радуйся и веселись о Создателе Своем! Рикуй и прославляй святое имя своего Господа! И все разум прославим! Let's praise Him. Облески тоби наш спасе. Це облески тоби. Це облески тоби. Це облески тоби, Господь всемогутний. Це облески тоби, тільки тоби. Наш Господь всемогутний. Ти посрамиш врага. И ты уже посрамил врага. И во все роды, из поколения в поколение, ты сохранял остаток в народе своем и в народах, которые приходят к тебе через сына твоего единственного единородного. Есть остаток, который не склоняет свои колена перед идолами, перед страхами, Перед смущением, перед запугиванием, перед обольщением врага, перед страхом смерти. Ты победил смерть! Славы Матеве! Славы Матеве! Наш шаббат почався тільки. І як ми знаємо, саме хороше тільки починається. Тому що Дух Божий здесь, щоб прославити тільки одне ім'я. Ім'я Господа. Єшуа. Ісуса. Якщо хтось хотів услышати ім'я родне, Имя Иешуа хотел услышать его, как Иисус, то я вас для вас это сделал. Имя Иисус. Поэтому скажи вместе со мной, Господь, я здесь. Во имя Твое. Мое сердце открыто. Чтобы слышать голос Твой. Что Ты хочешь сказать мне? Мои глаза открыты. Чтобы видеть Твои чудеса. В моей жизни. В моей семье. В моем городе. В моем усилии. 
Селени. Селени. Селени, соленья. Это туда-сюда. В моей стране. И я увижу твои чудеса. Прославь Господа, обыски Ему, обыски Ему. Аллилуйя! Аллилуйя! Повернитесь друг к другу. Приветайте одно одно. Кажите друг другу шапанчало, мазелто. Самое на искраве тики починается вид Господа. Аллилуйя! И детки, быстро, детки, детки, деточки, быстро сюда на благословение. Это неотлемлемая часть празднования шаббата в еврейском народе, в еврейской мишпухе, мишпахе. Это та Божья библейская традиция, когда родители благословляют своих детей, чтобы слава Господня из рода в род, из поколения в поколение умножалась и сияла. Generation to generation. Glory to you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that we have children. Thank you, Lord, for every one of them. Thank you because our children is blessing from you, and we and they are yours because you, and we as the congregation we are blessing them with your great name that the holy and we proclaim that they are yours and let they be faithful to you they will choose you Yeshua are they a Lord and let their hearts will be f faithful and loving to each other and to you Lord and we are blessing them and we ask you for them to be in your hand thank you for the protection from you for them, for that one who is in uh, dangerous places, show them your protection. And we're blessing all the children of Ukraine, and we ask you for them, for your protection to be with them. Be blessed. Dear our God, Yeshua, we're really thankful for all of our families, and we ask your protection, your uh, infinite protection your spiritual protection really ask you that your kingdom that uh, gives us this helmet this joyfulness this happiness and help us to be patient good parents glory to you amen amen glory to god Kill, oh, children go to shabbat school it is very good that we have so many kids. This is our future. I am so happy when I see uh, this many children. Uh, friends, while children go out, we have a couple... We have a couple of announcements. They will be... We'll have a fest. We had a prayer here, and Rabbi was uh, talking about the spirit of lie. And let's uh, enter this victory over the spirit of lie. On in, at eleven, we'll have prayer. And eighteen thirty, there will be no prayer here. It will be on. Vladimirska Horka and Nivki Hall. In 19, it will be prayer for Rebbe and others. And also Sh Shabbat will be at Nivki Hall. And as usual, at 11, Shabbat here and at 13 on Nivki Hall. And also on Saturday, prayer for everybody. Also, we want to tell that we have retreat will be soon. Who knows about this? Not a lot of people. Who knows that we have retreats soon? 
and also good thing that retreat will be for free. You just have to come and register. And we have good speakers. And Andrei Shrapoval will come on this retreat. I don't know about you, but I'm really waiting for what God have for us for this retreat. Uh, remember that retreats from 28th April, so take vacation till 28th April to the 3rd of May. Ask God that you could that you will enter this retreat with already your lists and prayers. Also really important, and we'll have Tvila. And if you want to enter Tvila and you talked with your leader and he thinks that you're ready, please, uh, proceed. please join. QR code will be, QR code will be here. You have to register till 27th of April. The phone. 063-193-1603. This is phone number. Shabbat Shalom. The first trimester ended and now started registration for second trimester. I ask for video to be shown. Thank you very much. And please show QR code for registration for second trimester. I have to say that for the last week, already 45% of the groups registered, but in second trimester, it will be 10 groups more than on the last one. So to everyone who haven't registered yet, there's a chance to find his the best group for him. So hurry, there are empty spaces still. Shabbat shalom. Shalom, dear friends. And also what Tanya was saying. We have to say, we have to talk about and our sister Zhenya is coming up stage and you know that we have a very big um, amount of different groups, workshops, but we have this special groups, uh, they, they are called freedom groups and uh, uh, there you can receive deliverance, mental healing and you know that Zhenya came to this group called Freedom Group and she joined our congregation more than one year ago during wartime and we are very happy that more people come to our congregation and our family uh, grew bigger but you know that uh, when person first goes to our congregation, joins our workshops, they always get lots of questions in their heads, sometimes they can be lost, they can understand what is really going on, and now Jenny will share what uh, has happened to her during this uh, group called Freedom. I want to thank Lord for this Freedom group, for all uh, ministers, for all my leaders 
leaders who helped me and uh, for their dedication and uh, their love and you know that they really um, talked with me through love and they you know they weren't like looking down on me when I didn't know anything but they uh, just really gave me freedom to speak and say all, all I want and you know that uh, I just understood that the Lord was in the center of uh, my communication with uh, my leaders and uh, I got an understanding like a revelation that Lord uh, was the like the main focus of our group and you know that uh, I was very happy that I had an ability to uh, use of my uh, theoretical knowledge man to knowledge to uh, use them in a practical way and you know that there were lots of uh, barriers obstacles and sometimes uh, when I had some mental uh, troubles let's say I felt on a physical way that Lord delivered me from these things I mean he just took all of my insecurities away and um, you know that uh, the next key point uh, the support of leaders and uh, other sisters were huge and uh, you know that when I first came on this group I felt this uh, family atmosphere and uh, I remember that mm, like some Shabbat services ago, I just um, understood that I had in me this kind of joy that I was really happy to see uh, everybody of you and uh, you know that uh, in the end of uh, Shabbat services, uh, people uh, praying to the Lord with the other prayer warriors they like you know they repent all their sins for their previous life um, and you know that uh, of course I was happy to see that but for me it was kind of a you know mechanical act it happens every Shabbat but then I understood that I really rejoice for all of these people and I understood that it was very precious and you know that uh, Jenny shared that when she uh, returned home from uh, her freedom group she uh, came uh, home and she just understood that the atmosphere in her home has changed and uh, her son was playing he was calm and her husband was doing some of uh, things and she just understood that uh, it happens very often that some of our physical healing start from mental healings and you know that um, Zhenya had an ability to speak freely about all her problems, to bring it up uh, before her leaders and we want to encourage you to register uh, on uh, one of our beautiful workshops and freedom groups in this new trimester and we believe that through these workshops we can open ourselves uh, to what God wants to bless us with. Let's praise our Lord all together. <laughs> You know, I just see that on the first rows of our hall are empty. There are no people who sit there, but I want to say that, you know, that um, Ukrainian people are very uh, hospitable and we would like to invite all our dear guests to uh, bring their stuff with them to locate yourselves on first rows if you came to our Shabbat service for the first time oh dear sisters they're sitting in the back 
Please come up front because we want to rejoice for you as one family in our Lord and we will continue listening to Lord's healings, to Lord's miracles and you know we have a spare space special for you. Yeah, I invite all leg. Yeah, you can, we need to give him some applause. It really encourages people. So it's important to give applause to a person. And we continue to live in the conditions we are in. And there's war in our country, but God still works in special ways. And we heard many stories about how he saves his children, how he protects them, how he turns away any troubles. And now you will hear another story. Shabbat Shalom, dear brothers and sisters. One time I was on my way to work and while I was going, an air raid started and I came to the metro. But then I got cold, so uh, so I start, went back to my way on to work and I wanted to get some tea. And I get out of the metro and I had to go down through the underground crossway uh, to the street where I work. When I came nearer to the place I had to cross, I uh, a thought came to my head like, oh, let's maybe I should treat myself a little and buy something nice for myself. And and then another thought comes. Well, you have all those streets on your work and it's so cold outside go but then another thought but like the sh the shop opens at like eight o'clock why don't you want to like maybe stand and wait for it to open and get something and then another thought comes well you're a fool why would you stand here and wait you can go to your work and you can be nice and treat yourself on on your work like you need to walk for just a couple of minutes and then another thought well stand here like the shop is almost open and like for a moment it i felt very uncomfortable and i thought well it's strange but maybe i'm just cold and then i look to my right and i see a rocket flying and it was flying right beside me and I could clearly see it. It flew over my over the house I usually walk. And from that house flew out all the windows, parts of the other parts of the house just flew out. While and during that time, if I w didn't stop, I would have walked right be beside this house. Let's so let's praise our God. Because when I heard this story, I think that it's incredible, it's unbelievable, it's amazing, and it's very touching. And why? Because God's thought came in such a simple way. It wasn't like, go and pray somewhere. No! It was just a simple thought. Treat yourself, buy something sweet for yourself. And from the other side comes like why why do you need to stand here and wait so see a battle occurred but here oleg will now tell us the very important part of this testimony in which way he got the opportunity to hear this thought and to win this battle so i get to my work in about an hour even though there uh, weren't any traffic and uh, at first I got very sad because I would like spend two hours to just get to work and get back through like why would you just why would just throw these two hours away but then I started listening to um, uh, to services I started listening to worship and I just started using this time to, to spend it with God and also while I went down to the metro um, 
So when I went down to El Metro the day, I was wearing my headphones and I was listening to worship. So, if, so I was in this state with God. But if I wasn't in this state, if I wasn't in this God's presence, I would probably just not pay attention to any thoughts and then just run on my way, and I might have get hurt, might have got hurt. So here is an important thing: to be in God's presence. A very important moment is routine here. A lot of times we can't hear something from God because we're in this routine and we're in venting. So hear how important it is to always be with God and always be in His presence. Like here, a very simple thought, just go and buy something sweet for yourself. But here it saved the life of our brother. Let's praise our God. Dear Father, thank you so much. Thank you so much that you keep taking care of every single one of us, for our families, for our close people. Thank you so much that even though stuff happens, you still don't change. Because yesterday, today, and tomorrow you will be the same. Thank you so much that you gave us the forever promise that you would protect us and thank you so much but if we follow you you will lead us let's praise our god loudly again that we can be here that our family is alive that our close people uh, now i invite ira let's let's give her some applause and now we will share a real a real un, unnatural situation that shows that there is nothing God can do. Shalom. My story is about family. I will short. I will tell you quickly my situation. Uh, I was a teenager when I believed in God, and my parents were not believers, especially my mom. She would restrict me from uh, any kind of connection from God. She would rip up my rip apart my books that I would read about Christianity. And to keep our relationship, we decided to uh, we decided to not talk about God, and even if I would go to church, she would ask me, "Are you going to, uh, are you going to run some errands?" And I would say yes, and she didn't even want to talk about the church. And then, not long in, ago, my grandma got sick, and she had a stroke, and she is she could only lie down and she couldn't eat and couldn't drink and my mom calls me and tells me she probably didn't no couldn't live to them uh, can be alive to them and I asked my mom can I pray for her and I understood that it was very risky because my mom could have just left because a lot of times before my mom just would would just hang up and not talk about it and she but she said yes you can pray for her i started telling my grandma about jesus not really tell but remind her about what she did uh, about what he did uh, on the cross and i told her that maybe soon you will meet him and you will stand before his judgment and and mom was repeating my words because grandma couldn't hear very clear and i prayed i hung up and then i went to do some things and then i continued praying for my grandma to deepen this presence and then in a couple hours i asked uh, i called my mom to ask how how was grandma and my mom says look after 10 minutes after you prayed, 10 minutes after you prayed, grandma got up, even though she couldn't walk, and she came to us on her two own, 
on on her own two feet. Yeah, and she came on her on her feet, and she asked for some food, and she sat with all the other people, and she ate, and then she went to bed, and she got. In the morning, she got up and she walked, and she was perfectly healthy for her age. And I believe that in that moment, God just broke that unbelieving, uh, the unbelieving of the fact that he just crashed the fact that they said that he was not alive and he was not there. And uh, and mom she started going to the Orthodox Church, so she doesn't say that he's not there anymore. And for her, it was a very big testimony that our grandma uh, is healthy now. And it was, let's praise our God very loudly, very loudly. God, thank you so much. Thank you that you are here and that you do such wonderful biblical miracles if some people ask why what do miracles happen now well see here a miracle happened if important uh, that when uh, also she said that when grandma was very sick uh, a lot of family members came brothers sisters cousins and a lot of mm, and all of them were unbelievers and just just think about it here is grandma praying uh, very un like she couldn't walk she's just very sick and then in 10 minutes she gets up and it was such a testimony for these people who didn't believe and it was amazing that God just destroyed this wall of unbelieving that was there for years. We can talk, we can do things, we can talk a lot of things, but when things like this happen, we can't just say that it's just an accident or it never happened. And now their relationship is much better and uh, Ira said that now their relationship is much better and now she's afraid to say that God is not there let's praise our God God thank you so much our dear God that you are the God for who there is nothing impossible and thank you so much that when we open the our your way you can do amazing things, incredible things. Thank you for all the amazing things you do, the things that we can't even imagine. All the glory and praise only to you. Let's praise our God. Hallelujah. Oh, let us say together, our heavenly dad, my heavenly dad, thank you. And we can say in him a kiss. Oh Lord, it's your gathering and we are your children and your Holy Spirit is right now amongst us and he lives inside us. You are main person here in this place and all we do here we are do for your glory. Because 
Because there is no life without you. And everything is vanity and nothing new under the sun, but only you, only one who is real. And you have poured your love with your spirit into our hearts. And now everyone here can say to himself, herself, I do have a heavenly dead who loves me and his love is eternal love. And everything I can see is, is temporary. And my homeland is in heavenly skies, in his heavenly kingdom. And he took us from there. And he took us from the deep ditch and, oh God, you are spirit and where your spirit breathes, there we have victory and there is no place for enemy and enemy could not stand in front of your might of your, of your mighty face and every knee will bow down before you And every mouth in this life and heavenly life will proclaim that Yeshua is King and God and there is no other God and Savior. And we are so thankful. We are so thankful for this, O oh Lord. We are thankful that we have hope. And we can put our hope on your mercy, not only in this life. Because if we hope on you only in this, uh, in this life, it's nothing. But, you know, soon, very soon, we will see our Savior face to face. And if you believe so, if you hope so, we are happy people. And who believes in such way will not be ashamed. Let us glorify Him. Oh, glory, glory, glory to you, our Lord. And you know, I want to share now a couple of thoughts. Particularly with believers in God and people from our congregation, I want to share with you. Not so long ago, I was watching video about ministry of our rabbi Boris. He was in Germany in uh, Tos Church in Tübingen, Germany, and he uh, and he spoke about Pesach, about Pesach feast, about Easter. 
which will come soon, and we are waiting for this feast. And right now, we heard a couple great, uh, great miracles about about savings, about about His holy blood, about He who took us from any salvation and He destroyed any salvation in our life. And He brought us from any salvation in our life. But you know, one of great purpose of our freedom from our releasing from uh, from salvation is uh, uh, so ask yourself, why did our God destroy slavery in my life? Why did He? Just for me to be like free person? Does He mean only this? But we can read His word. And we can read chapter 5 of Exodus, and God says, Afterward Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, Let my people go, that they may hold a feast to me in the wilderness. And then Moses told the Pharaoh that he must let God's people go for what? For them may hold a feast to God in the wilderness. So why do God releasing us in our lives? just for us to be joyful and live our life as we understand it or for or hold a feast to our God. Remember, let my people go to hold a feast to make a ministry to me. It is very important thing, friends. Because we know the story about long, long term of walking Israel people in the wilderness, when Israel people uh, always remember about life in slavery and and they were mourning uh, to God, but they should to believe God and come into the Holy Land. Remember that. And now we have ability in New Testament to be ministers of New Testament in the Holy Spirit. And we are people who were born from the heaven, we have this life which pouring into us and through us and His blessings pouring through us to other people. And it is very important for us to look uh, on ourselves, not from point of view of this world or enemy who tells us lies every day, every time, who says like uh, in second uh, verse and Pharaoh said who is the Lord that I should obey his voice to let Israel go I do not know Lord nor will I let Israel go so 
it is very important you to hold the feast to go to the Lord and you may hear the voice of enemy who saying you oh what the feast who is the Lord look around what feast it is very hard time what ministry just look to yourself and also enemy tells you oh who is the God no God and we know that enemy doesn't want to let any person in such in an easy way and if God take someone from enemy he tries to grab this person back every time but your position as released person as person who have born from the heaven from the skies is very important you may have heart who says I will minister to my Lord I will hold the feast to my Lord Amen and feast of Pesach is feast of releasing from any slavery and also coming into ministry to God if you will not not come into ministry ministry to your Lord your releasing can still uh, uh, you could not fulfill your releasing the enemy will lie to you oh what releasing what freedom just look at yourself you're nothing but when we are releasing from slavery and we do come into the place of ministry to Lord we can say these enemy voices go away get lost from me because I am child of God I am released with his blood and I am not your slave I am daughter and son of my Lord and I do minister to my Lord and who are you who are you who are you amen and let us do the minister to our Lord now and do like a feast to our Lord right now not as slaves but as free God's children because we have this spirit of freedom inside of us and because only free God's children can hold this true feast to their Lord. Slaves could not hold their feast to the Lord. Slaves are people who are born fear. Slaves are people who are under pressure. But those people who were released by Lord they can uh, make heart of their father joyful and so friends right now we will give our we will give our offerings to our Lord as free people as free children who can make our ministry in a free way and it's not about money it's about that God destroyed all slavery in your life or you have some or you have some temptations about it but we remember that we could not minister to two lords to we 
Он дал нам способность We have ability from our Lord to hold this feast and not to be slave to anyone. And when we praised Lord here today, I remembered this story about Pharaoh who held Israeli people one time, the second time, the third time. And now in our country, in Ukraine, enemy also do as Pharaoh. He holds Ukrainians. But God has a plan for Ukraine and He has a plan for His beloved people Israel and people of Ukraine all over the world. And we read the Pharaoh will not release you. But my glory will come upon Pharaoh And I do believe that God's glory will come soon for in, in this war only one name will be glorified and no, no man will be glorified in this war because only God keeps control upon everything in this war, in this time. And please, let us stand up stand up together and and we uh, shout loudly him hallelujah Oh, you only Almighty God, and we are praising you in the name of Jesus. Amen. And now, please sit down, and now we will gather your offerings, and please bless the Lord from all of your heart. And let God will multiply your offerings, and please do this like released like free children of the Lord. Hallelujah. Also, please scan the QR code for give your offerings to Kiev Jewish Messianic Congregation. You can see it on your screen. And
You were leading us to the house of Your love is upon us Glory, glory, glory Если 
Третьица вам, третьица вам, о любви, вы скажете ему, он вел меня в дом мира, и знамя его надо мною любовь. Он вел меня в дом мира, и знамя его. He led me to the banqueting house, and his banner was upon me, love. I adjure you, O daughters of Jerusalem, if you find my beloved, what do you tell him? That I am sick with love. How much better is your love than wine? You don't have to stay in this house of sadness, but you can enter into his banqueting house where his love is banner over you. Just tell him these words. Let's say raise our hand to praise him, to show that our hands are like his banner. 
and that His love is not only upon us, but inside of us. Love of our Lord, fatherly love. Love one. Love one all this sadness, all fear. Love one. Let's Keep. give him a big hands all together. He brought me to the banqueting house and his banner over me was love. Our Redeemer. saved who is redeemed who is free praise the Lord You are our king. You've fulfilled everything. You conquered the death. You are our king. You gave us life. Yeshua Adonai. Let's praise him together. You're our king, you fulfilled everything. You conquered the death, you're our king, you gave us life. Yeshua at night.
Death has no power over us. Fear has no power over us. We are redeemed. We are God's kids. us his mercy and helps us who blesses not only through our work but through other ways he is good he is good shepherd and he is my blesser the one who is blessing us my heart is open. Not only to receive his blessings, but while we're taking, we're blessing him. God's house. Dad, thank you. Dad, thank you. We're thanking. We thank you for your <laughs> for your blessings for your care thank you and we know that you will not leave us behind that you till, will be with us till the end and that you are a caring father if you didn't if you gave your son as as this lamb then how parent looks after his kids you care for us and we're thankful for this. Amen. 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 Let's blow him a kiss. Where we're living. We're living. 
we belong to God. But when we are alive on this earth, we will, we will celebrate, we will make him happy, we will serve for him. Let's clap. Clap for the Yeshua. Say Mazel Tov, Shabbat Shalom. Our Rebbe. Друзья, там интересно, можно посмотреть на экране. Я там смотрел. Сестры так скакали грамотно, а братья так солидно, ну так чисто по-мужски так. I seen how our sisters were jumping and the brothers they were trying to keep calm, but couldn't resist and were dancing inside their hearts. So please, brothers, turn to each other. Sisters, if you have brothers ne sitting next to you, you can turn to them as well, and you can tell them, brothers, okay, now you turn to brothers and tell them, brothers. Brothers, bros, do you remember who is not jumping and so on and so on? They are exalted right now. Check the oh, the hall was full, and now I look and I don't see anyone. You see, the worship groups, they are the most holiest amongst us. We are still here and they just disappeared. They are exalted. And only Victor is left behind. For him, at least somehow, to be a bridge between us and those who are exalted right now. Rebbe is joking. Oh, and Alex as well. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ah, they're still here. They're not exalted. Thanks, God. Because it's still too early for them to be exalted. Not because they're not, they're not, they're not holy enough, but because they need to spread their wholeness, holiness and anointing with others. Am I right? Of course. Repeat after me. Of course. What does it mean? It means... Yes, sure. And then you can add to that a hashbo. It's Ukrainian slang. Means to support someone with their yes answer. You see how rich and full is our ukrainian language how many synonymous phrases we have which are highlighting the strength of reconfirmation and assurance can we say yes to that as well amen do you remember as hero of one soviet book spoke to another character in the book who was a female and he showed her something and she said ho ho and he said it's not ho ho but ho ho <laughs> so today we have such a worship actually such a prayers which are taking place and Vlad was just roaring and turning and if there are still some islands left in the hearts of someone, then you broke it as a dog breaks the mop. Breaks the mop. 
Может, кому-то кому не понравилось выражение «тузик». Maybe someone didn't like that I'm talking about the dog, but it's a joyful, sabbatical, спасибо, sabbatical, uh, sabbatical talk about the dog, which is Tuzik. It's the name of the dog. So I congratulate everyone. Thank you. Thank you. In between. Ну, зрозуміло, що я вже сильно скучив за громадою, за братами. As you see, I miss you so much and I missed this our strong humble brothers and our joyful sisters and all of you I missed as well. Such an amazing brother Maxim is writing to us. Oh, Boris, Boris, how pleasant is it. Good job, Maxim. Thank you for everyone who writes into the chat, to all the boys and girls. Listen. Elena Elena is writing, Lord, in the name of Jesus, help me and all my relatives and my family members to be safe, blessed, healthy, whole, whole in spirit, in mind and all areas of life. Elena, without even thinking, is praying for shalom. She prays for shalom, and shalom is not only peace. It's not only the... It's not only when the enemy is missing. The shalom means wholeness, unity, harmony. So please, wish me Shabbat Shalom right now. Shabbat Shalom! Shabbat Shalom! Holy Spirit was moving here from the very beginning, from the very first minute, and Holy Spirit actually started to work even from yesterday, and right now Holy Spirit is moving and working through this hall as well. So let's agree that the backbench and the islands of calmness will show us a joyful reaction onto the presence of the Lord. Can I have your yes for that? That's a completely different thing. Or as it used to be before in the parliament, how they sat without using properly Ukrainian grammar, they said second thing. It doesn't mean that's other thing. They were calling it second thing. And second thing, it's not aligned with the, the thing. You know, I really enjoy God's presence right now, and hallelujah to that. Hallelujah. And Elena Elena is not stopped at that very point, so she still writes, Lord, please teach me and Nina, who is this mysterious Nina, to pray resultative, resultative. Elena, you have a great chance today for your prayers to be responded, and that's a fact. Wow, such a beauty. Oh, my goodness. Dear people who are with us today through this sabbatical joyful chat, please 
right what God performed already today right now in your life or maybe yesterday please write to us about deliverances about healings about blessings because some people will find unexpectedly money in their wallets which were closed with 10 locks so boys and girls and that's only the beginning that's only the beginning oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Another mysterious watch top you are writes. Thank you for amazing way how my friend feels right now in God's presence. That he has the roof above him, that he has money in his pockets, and amen to that, amen to that. And Yelena Petiletova writes, I'm also Yelena and I'm accepting all the blessings as well. And that's the key today, who as well accepted some blessings, you can say directly, thank you Lord for this amazing, beautiful person. Thank you for your answer in life of our sister in life of her grandmother, in life of her mother. I receive this for my relatives and for my family members as well. I receive it for that, my family members who are sick right now, who are in depression, who are hopeless, who don't know God yet, and they just running here and there. I accept it for them and for myself as well, because you don't look into the faces. You love each and every one and open yourself and open your family for your love which is unconditional please pray with this prayer with me right now don't hesitate to speak out loud with your own words the meaning we know already the sense of this prayer you already understood let the blessings which are revealed in life of others who wrote already will be revealed in your life as well just do it please why I don't hear you why it's so quiet can you pray out loud? Don't hesitate. Let's say, Lord, I accept and receive all those blessings which you poured out and you are putting out onto my brothers and sisters. You love me in the same way strong as them. That's why I open myself and my whole family and all of my closest ones and relatives for the fullness of your blessings into my spirit, in all the corners of my soul, in all the parts of my physical body it's such a it's a word which we use to describe a body a body a flesh and throughout my whole family and financial blessing as well and your blessings in relationship with others with other people and your supernatural protection and as well joy which is flowing from heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We glorify and exalt you, the one who is high. Hallelujah. And people continue to write and they are giving thanks for the blessings. Hallelujah. 
And listen, friends, write to us not only thanksgiving that you are healthy, that you are joyful, that you are feeling good, but write as well some exact things which God will perform during this Shabbat service, and he started to do it from yesterday evening. Doesn't matter from where you are watching us right now, the most important thing is that you are here with us listening to the spirit of the lord and you are looking at the things which god wants to show to you glory to you glory only to you all glory belongs to him backbench hey i hear you that's so great Oof. Wow, I really missed our congregation. Hallelujah. I will not speak today about the trip which was the longest in my ministry. I will be quite short when I left Ukraine. And I met my wife and we went to European summit in Germany. After that, we went to Switzerland and I received quite important call from Israel, from one amazing Israeli mission. And they're asking me to come a sub to Israel and there are no tickets available so Monday I supposed to take a flight and on Thursday we have tickets from Frankfurt to US already somehow I reached Israel to be honest with you I should go and dig myself into a crisis which one ministry is going through right now. It's not related to our congregation at all. It's related to foreign congregation. After the war started in Israel, a lot of foreigners who were quite loyal and faithful to the missions in Israel, they left the country and a lot of ministries suffered because of that. And the leaders of that ministry decided that I can be useful somehow. That's why I came there and I still couldn't find a return ticket. So in the night I came to Frankfurt next morning. We are going to US and it started. From that time we went to so many different services in six states of US and then we came back. Then we've been with our congregation for a few days in Stuttgart. After that in Tübingen, as it was said already today in our brothers, in our uh, sisters' church, Tos, and right directly from the service I was taken to airport, I took a flight to Warsaw, and from Warsaw I came to Ukraine. That's my quick report, and on Tuesday I will speak about something what doesn't have sense to be spoken right here in Shabbat service and Tuesday we will have quite interesting gathering of servants and ministers and it won't be trans it would it won't be broadcasted as well because few specific topics will uh, sh will be discussed there and we don't want it to be spread out wide so I want to say that when we were looking and following the events which took place here in Ukraine, we were so mad because of the events organized by our friends from Moscow and what they are doing in the last weeks and how they decided to freeze 
the nation of Ukraine for the next season and before it will become really hard to make us feel hot without AC because they won't be working properly as you know maybe one of the electricity biggest station of electricity in Kiev area was completely destroyed so after that when we checked few other news portals from Ukraine which were not trying to make the news quite optimistic or not to put a fear to someone we have this kind of news channels and then we compared it to some other information from internet to some other information in spread it through other news somehow we understood that the mainstream of Ukrainian news right now apart from super official sources broadcasted through TV it sounds like that chef we lost it all full and dead and everyone needs to hide that's the main mainstream the main message spread it through the news the mainstream is already the mainstream so I was interested in why in this difficult situation sincere Ukrainian patriots somehow are delivering the message in a way that it looks not only super difficult but it looks as a dead end I have my own thoughts about that I will not share it right now here so apart from rockets which supposed to deliver us and set Ukraine free the shooting of electrostation and the daily shooting of city Kharkiv Zaporozhye apart from other horrible things which our neighbor are still doing in front line as well everyone was so frustrated because of the low new law and changes in mobilization process it's not completely accepted yet it's not started to work fully because president haven't signed it yet and according to some information the president will sign it in months of May but already some funny sides of this law I can see I, I heard it because it was uh, said it was informed like that that everyone who deals with camels in our country is uh, somehow booked for the army job what does it mean if someone is petting camel you know what I'm talking about you know an additional bonus the shepherds of camels in country they have an additional bonus right now you know there are other great and amazing topics in that law but we will see at the end when it will be signed by president so what I think it's important for us today to discuss it is very important for us to discuss why do we have not to be afraid of all this stuff why don't we have to stay under this pressure and this kind of weeping actually that chef is the end you know and everything which is like that why don't we how do you think do we have um, any points of views here in our hall and here we have some first of all that 
Lord is with us. 100% that's true. Мы можем что? We can либо Богу, либо страху. Аминь. Аминь. We Аминь. can worship or to the Lord or О, to the fear. Amen. And да, as we know that да, who is with да. us is stronger Hallelujah. than who is in this world. Hallelujah. 100% that's true. Hallelujah. Uh, I would like to say in general about all this stuff. So generally, in reality, we have to confirm to establish ourselves more and more in very common and very simple things. We have to re-establish ourselves in such things. So here we have Exodus 19th chapter, chapter 19. We have verse 4. You have seen what I did to the Egyptians, and I bore you on eagles' wings. And the more proper translation, how, how I lifted you up on eagles' wings. I was carrying you and brought you to myself. It is very, very important. Verse 4. It is one of the main points because every single word is important. First, you have seen what I did to the Egyptians. What is it about? What, it's not about what I did, not to you, not to all other people who were in Egypt, but what I did to the Egyptians, Egyptians, and not to, and to other people who didn't repent. Because you remember that from the Egypt, um, not only Israel was taken away, but of course people from many different countries and nations and who realize that not only God of Egyptians and other gods, but only one almighty God of Israel is over all. So all other people, they just found themselves not in the proper, in, uh, and they found themselves in wrong place and wrong time. So you have seen what I did to the Egyptians, and I bore you on Egypt eagles' wings. Maybe they didn't found themselves on these eagles' wings. Maybe they won't, uh, didn't find themselves as eagles generally uh, of the only one big eagle. So, and now, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then you shall be a peculiar treasure to me above all the nations, for all the earth is mine. So what is to be a peculiar treasure? It is a part of something which is separated from all other territory. So God is saying that, have you seen that how I separated you? how I um, was um, 
Как я защищал одновременно вас. How I was protecting you uh, in Egypt while uh, punishing um, Egyptians through these ten through this um, ten wespies. So I showed them how and with whom they can be saved and actually who is the savior but there is a condition you have to be separated and there is truly condition you have to be separated from this world from you have to be separated from all the spirits which are above and over other nations you have to separate to be separated from other and merciful spirits which are melting your mind which are bringing fears on you you have to be separated by my life you have to become you have to become my independent territory for me to be your the only one God on this territory and no other gods. And if you and if you will listen to me and keep my covenant so it's about this prayer Shema, to listen and to hear actually two different um, meanings just mentioned please so these two words was before this covenant covenant on, uh, on the mountain of Sinai because uh, all Israeli people were in covenant with God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and this was um, what uh, that was not um, important um, for the Lord to show this covenant because it was um, much more much more simple because um, Jewish people became uh, like idolic and they started to bow down before um, uh, idols God said that you will be a peculiar treasure to me which is separated from all other nations because all for the earth all earth is mine and it is actually a prophecy about new new times new, um, God gave them a special land and he wanted to separate them from everything which is about um, worshipping other idols and and from influence of other nations and it's directed to us because we are uh, those who are called to be all over the world to be those people who are separated and we are that kind of spiritual territory that truly do belong to the Lord and not to some other gods only to you Lord let's say it all together amen and you will be 
Ah, uh, to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which you shall speak to the sons of Israel. And what do we see about concerning all of us? Because Israel didn't become um, a kingdom of priests. That's why God had to highlight uh, one tribe of priests and not even whole tribe of uh, priests became priests. Uh, other part became um, just servants because the first plan the very first plan was to become for whole tribe, but Yeshua, he restored for, uh, this very first uh, God's plan for every single one, not only for those who came after Abraham, Isaac and Jacob by flesh, by, but for every single person who believes in Yeshua Messiah. So we are speaking and we are re reading from 1 Peter 2, 9, uh, verse 9. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood who are taken uh, royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for a possession so that you might speak of the praises of him who was who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light you who then were not a people but now the people of god who those not pitied then but now pitied so not all uh, all people but but now it is released for believers of New Testament, for children uh, of God according to Brit Hadashah New Testament, who are God's children according to Brit Hadashah New Testament. So you have to remember that God in New uh, in um, Old Testament, uh, Old Testament times, he was separating his children from Gentiles. He was separating Abraham, who was from he was uh, from nations of Gentiles, actually. So we can be truly... He was Chaldean. Chaldean. So if he could so truly 100%, we can all be his children. So we have to remove this Chaldean spirit and uh, influence of this Chaldean spirit and um, understanding and mind because we truly stay in his spiritual territory and we have to truly separate for him and we have to melt this um borders between us and everything worldly so we have to stay on our spiritual um, territory so i like somehow jump from abraham to um to those times when uh, Jewish people were in Israel, or were in Egypt, and, and that's the, uh, one of the reasons why Jewish people were not damaged uh, during these ten, ten wemsies. Do you know why? 
Do you know one of the reasons? Которые позволили Богу защитить Израиль. One of the reasons which give, gave opportunity to the Lord to protect, protect uh, peop, Jewish people from these ten executions. Of course, it is blood of this lamb. And maybe, maybe you know about others, others. And if to speak technically, the answer is that they were living somehow outside. They were living separately. Let's clap. Let's say amen on this uh, point of view. We, it's very important, truly important for us to remember this thing. Dear friends, you you might not open. I will read quickly. Um, it's from Genesis uh, 46, 20, verse 29. And Joseph made his chariot ready and went up to meet Israel to uh, father, so to Goshen, and presented himself to him. And he fell on his neck and wept on his neck a good while. And, Isra uh, and Israel said to Joseph, Now let me... Uh, I'm sorry, and 31. And Joseph said to his brothers and to his father's house, I will go up and show Pharaoh uh, and say to him, My brothers and my father's house who were in the land of Canaan have come to me. And 30, uh, verse 33, And it shall be when Pharaoh shall call you and shall say, What is your occupation? Then you shall say, Your servants have been men of cattle from our youth even until now, uh, both we and our fathers, so that you may live in the land of Goshen for every shepherd in abomination to the Egyptians. So Joseph saw uh, in a prophet way that it's very important for Israeli people, for Jewish people, to be separated for uh, Egyptians. So he said that it is important that Pharaoh has to separate by himself uh, Jewish people from Egyptians because um, shep shepherds were something unclean, unpured. Um, it was very important for Jewish people to reach, to uh, find this um, point to be separated by Pharaoh from Egyptians for Jewish people because you know that in Old Testament times that uh, Jewish people didn't have this Holy Spirit atonement. They didn't have it just um, because they didn't have this atonement. They couldn't stay uh, against of this pressure, of this pressure of other Gentiles and idolic, you know, this. Uh, it was very important for Jewish people to be separated, to make these borders physically. So the point, the main condition was to... Uh, uh, was to come out of this um, land and unfortunately this reason was not reached because you know we see that even second and third generation didn't figure out with this and 
we see that God tried. God is highlighting that it is very important for Israel not to not to imitate all other nations for those uh, uh, of those uh, nations and countries who were living next to Jewish people who were more civilized who were more more beautiful more precious like you know more uh, they had more money it was more important for Israel to live in separated separated from everything what is foreign for them so God is establishing this principle and as in past as uh, the same now God wants to establish he wants to confirm especially in front uh, um, in this upcoming uh, Passover in upcoming salvation exodus especially in days of upcoming and during these upcoming days we have to remember this commandment commandment for us not to love not if not world either though which is in this world especially don't make value uh, for us not to be valuable that things that are valuable for world you know because it is melting borders first of all and then brings you to the death and now we have a question so what are we speaking about that uh, it's about presence you know because uh, God said that do not love the world not the things in the world if anyone loves the world the love of the father is not in him so what do we do with this um, mobilization and this law so as far as we understand that we are part of God's thing on this world if we understand that we are not just believers we are priests of new testament uh, no testament and every single person and every single of person of us is a uh, priest from a uh, day when we were saved from a uh, day when we got salvation from this uh, from our King Yeshua so we become foreign foreigners to this world if we realize these things we don't have to um, we don't have to feel fear and to be afraid of things in this world anybody writing down what I'm saying please do it because you have to see this chain of my point of views and words I'm saying where you will lose this connection be be between parts of this chain please write down mention highlight it so if we are separated if we are not under this pressure of king of this world if our uh, flesh is not under this pressure of this world we are not afraid of things of 
things what are this world is afraid about and afraid of if god is established our inner person is established and resurrected and exalted that's why then we have accepting everything from heavens and it gives us opportunity to put our trust in God's victory, God's uh, leadership and everything in God from the heavens. Hallelujah. Открываем, друзья. знаменитую первосвященническую молитву Иешуа о священниках Нового Завета, о священниках Нового Завета. Семнадцатая глава. С 13 стиха. «Ныне же к тебе, очи иду, и это говорю в мире, чтобы они имели в себе радость мою совершенную. И я передал им слово твое, и мир возненавидел их, потому что они не от мира, как и я не от мира, но молю, э, прошу прощения, не молю, чтобы ты взял их из этого мира». Для верующих Нового Завета работает этот принцип отделения по-другому. Нам совершенно не обязательно территориально отделяться от людей этого мира. Не молю, чтобы ты взял их из мира, но чтобы сохранил их от зла. Они не от мира, как и я не от мира. Он повторяет это. Он повторяет это. 14 стих. Они не от мира, как и я не от мира. 16 стих. Они не от мира, как и я не от мира. Представляете, важность этого. Освяти их истиной твоей, то есть отдели их истиной твоей. Отдели их от всего, что не есть истина, и от всех, кто не верит истине. Слово Твое есть истина. Как Ты послал меня в мир, так и я послал их в мир. И за них я посвящаю себя, чтобы и они были освящены, отделены истиной. 20 стих. Не о них же только молю, но и о верующих в меня по слову их. Да будут все едино, как ты, Отче, во мне, и я в тебе. Так и они да будут в нас едино. Да уверует мир, что ты послал меня. И славу, которую ты дал мне, я дал им. Друзья, кто из вас верит в это невероятное Божье Слово? Что оказывается, слава Божья, которая почивала на Ишу во всю его земную жизнь, на воплощенном Сыне Божьем, 
на царе царей, на Господе славы, что эта слава сейчас почивает на нас. Кто в это верит? Помашите рукой. Я одно время, я считал, что смиренно в это не верить. Так написано, но я не буду в это верить, я недостоин. Так стопроцентно недостоин. А кто достоин славы Божьей? Каждый, кто считает, что он достоин Божьей славы, тот похититель Божьей славы. Только те, которые осознали свое полное недостоинство этой славы, только те, которые осознали свое бесславие без Бога, только те Господь удостаивает славы своей. И когда мы просто сдаемся и доверяем Ему, и просто впитываем в себя Его Слово, которое живает в нас, и которое разрушает в нас твердыни неверия, страха, обольщения, грехов, подделок, лжи, когда мы впитываем в себя это оживший в огне Святого Духа Слова, тогда слава Божья не просто скрытым, а явным образом начинает проявляться в нашей жизни. Потому что Он сам сказал, славу, которую Ты дал мне, я дал им. И это после того, как Он сказал, не о них же только молю, но верующих в Меня послуй. Я в них и Ты во Мне, да будут совершены воедино, и да познает мир, что Ты послал Меня и возлюбил их, как возлюбил Меня. Фух. Этот принцип, принцип отделения, принцип совершенного Божьего удела в Новом Завете раскрывается именно в совершенстве. В совершенстве, друзья. Так как он никогда, никогда не раскрывался не раскрывался в старозаветные времена. Послушайте, друзья. При этом мы помним, Last to that, we remember what he said. I sent you He said it to his disciples. I send you as sheep amongst the wolves. If someone will tell me this, if I will hear it from someone, you know, I will run away from someone who will send me this kind of way I will run so quickly from this person but he truly made us those who are separated from this world as sheep are separated from the wolves and from other side there is other principle of this separation here I give you authority to step on all serpents and scorpions, to step on all spiritual serpents and scorpions, and to step on whole enemies' power. We don't need to run and to find enemy, but when we are moving and going according to the commandments of the Lord, then all of the scorpions and serpents will be, we will step on them if we won't be afraid from them, and when we will lift our Feet, we won't be afraid from snake or serpent. Oh my goodness, here is serpent, here is scorpion. God, where you send me to? 
It's a dead end. Whatever I'm turning, I see beasts which are full of poison. I will not go there. No, he sends us exactly for us to step on every beast. Have you ever seen how Ukrainian farmers are preparing fields for works on it? You know, they have this, this kind of tool which they are sometimes pushing it before themselves, before the machines which are working on the field, and some of them are ta uh, pushing them behind them. If this uh, LKV will move before the person, it can even da uh, hurt someone, but... It's something like a lattice on a trailer, tracker. So what I understood that one of our tasks is to, to clear minds on spiritual territory, to step and to explode all those scorpions and serpents. But in, in the instinct of, of suppers, we have a promise that we won't be hurt by anything. He promised us that nothing will hurt us. There is nothing what will harm us. He promised us. Let's repeat it. He promised us nothing will harm us. Not a serpent. Not a scorpion. Not even the whole power of the enemy. Amen. And how can we connect these two principles of separation? First of all, the very first one, I send you as sheep amongst the wolves, and the second one, I give you authority to step on all power of the enemy, to step on serpents and scorpions. It looks like in opposition with each other. It, the simple evangelical explanation for that is like this we should not step on people we should not fight with people the people are not serpents and scorpions even they can be filled with serpents and scorpions the demons if one person had legion of demons you remember this story from bible god commanded us that our fight is not against flesh and body, but it's against the authorities, against spiritual authorities, against the rulers of this world, which are spirits, demons. We are fighting not with our own power. Plus to that, we cannot count on ourselves only. That's why we are going there as sheep. But we are led by line from tribe of Judah. We are going as Sheeps guided by the line from tribe of Judah. Which kind of wolves can stand against it? We cannot count on our own strength and power. We cannot count on our spiritual 
freedom on our talents. No, we are called to rely on that kind of spiritual authority which is given to us by the Lord. And if we will fulfill all of that, He has a strong promise to us that nothing will harm us, nothing will hurt us. And His faithfulness in that, in a way how He wants to protect His separated nation, our God, God of Abraham and Jacob, in all of the times, through all of the times, in all of the times, through all of the times, in all of the times, through all of the times, in all times. He showed himself like that. But in the New Testament, he can reveal this faithfulness as a protector, Magen Abraham, shield of Abraham, shield of Abraham, Magen Moshe, shield of Moshe, and so on. He wants to reveal it in a full, in a full way, in a full way, in a full way. And in those conditions which we are right now with all of that challenges which we face with everything what wants to impact us which wants to bring us to this dead end which wants to make us sad this constant danger which is spread it we should stand against all of this false thoughts evil thoughts it's a poison of serpents, it's poison of scorpions, it's poison of a lie which tries to unite us with the people of this world and let us to think that everything what will harm those who doesn't know God will harm those who knows God as well because you don't have place where to hide, we don't have even the physical territory where to hide, what are you thinking about yourself? and who you are by the end. By ourselves we are nothing, we are poor in spirit, but the one inside us who is stronger than everything and everyone, he lives inside each and every of us. You know, I had a fellowship with one good brother during these days and he opened his soul to me about this new mobilization law and his disappointment and I was not saying anything against whatever he spoke about because I understood he just needed to speak to someone about that. He just needed to be revealed through that. Sometimes we just need to listen to people who are going and suffering from the pressure. But you need to remember that what these people are going through shouldn't pressurize you. And I highly recommend to you to listen again to this sermon of today. If you are comforting those who are under different kind of pressure and you are feeling somehow that you support them in this hard, difficult circumstances, you feel so sorry for them. And when you're listening to all of that, don't become prisoners of these emotions, of the sad thoughts, of fears related to these thoughts, of the bitterness related to these thoughts. And I'm talking now about different and different and different brothers and sisters. You need to know that Lord put you, while you're listening to all of that, to gather it all and to throw it onto the cross of Calvary. Because there is a victory of the Lord which already received the victory over any panic, any fear, any hopelessness, any alarms and feeling of being alarmed and victory over any bad dreams which we are 
sometimes seem. No, he is comforting us in this circumstances, but he knows that his glory already separated us from the shame and from the death of this world. Let's help those who are temporary align themselves and surrender themselves to this doubts, to this fears, that they are having thoughts that God will not protect them, that they somehow temporarily surrendered themselves to these thoughts that God really haven't separated us truly. And we don't have that kind of authority in the circumstances as those people had when it was more calm situations and events. God promises us that in these difficult times His authority, His power will be open in a completely new, higher level. But if we will grasp on that, if we are taking what He gave us already and to take, it doesn't mean passively to open yourself and to say, Lord, do whatever you want. I'm yours. No, that's the only beginning. But from that, there is a continuation to stand up and to move forward. Even if there is a Red Sea before us, it's enough to cry out and to say, Lord, where are you? No, lift your stick, use your authority and continue to move forward. Let's say, Lord, glory to you that you separated us. Glory to you that we have different destiny, another destiny, according to the destiny of this world. Glory to you for the way you protected us during these two years. Glory to you, Lord, that you have not changed. Glory to you for your supernatural protection. You will not allow the enemy to step in to your works your glory is on us you gave us your authority you gave us your power and the power of the holy spirit which is filling us which is connecting and uniting us in one glory to you almighty Glory to you, King of Kings. Glory to you, Redeemer. Glory to you, the one who delivers. Glory to you. Hallelujah. And let's say, even if you don't have any feeling of a disappointment, you don't feel any fear, let's say it all together. In the name of Yeshua, fears, hesitation, ungodly doubts, any kind of lie and false understanding, sadness, I rebuke you, I break your thoughts, I break your feelings, your horrible emotions, I throw away all of that, I throw it under the feet by the authority of name of Yeshua. 
And I step on you! Because he gave me that authority! And let's dance right now! Let's jump! On that... What on... And let's jump on them! And let's dance on them! Мешало сосредоточиться на Слове Божьем, в служении Богу. Кто ощущал это давление, которое мешало радоваться, верить и славить Господу? И теперь, ну просто помашите, если это в отношении вас будет. Видите? И теперь... Господь срезал сегодня это давление, убрал то, что нависало, рассеял эту тьму. И сейчас свет Божий, Он просвещает вас, и вы понимаете, что Он развиднилось. Слава Божья надо мной! Тот, кто меня искупил, освободил, отдал за меня Сына Своего. Отец Божий, Он же лев из коленой руды. Он не оставляет и не оставит меня. Начали так смеяться, что просто 
Ну, просто вот в течение 10 секунд нас накрыло. И мы оба предвкушаем то, что будет. И вы можете предвкушать этот Божий славный прорыв. И что бы ни делал мир, вы отделены от него. Вы Друзья, все, и кто в зале, и кто с нами онлайн, и кто будет нас смотреть, будет слушать. Быстро проверьте свое физическое состояние. Я сейчас сокращаю эту часть. Проверьте свое физическое состояние с быстрыми упражнениями. Проверьте все, что можно проверить. Проверьте сейчас! Эй! And please check your condition. Please check right now. It is important. Truly important. And if you found out some kind of physical healing or that you feel better, rise up your hands quickly and praise the Lord right now. If you felt something what is better in your condition, in your physical condition and continue to praise the Lord, we want to be objective in counting here we have 16 people let's praise the lord god of glory all glory is yours lord and here we have 13 not for us to be superstitious, dear friends. Hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord. I want to say that God's movement, which heals us, is continuing here. And here God, give, God is giving freedom to, other, to all people, to some against some kind of demonic doubts maybe you were opening god's word bible and you couldn't focus on it god is giving you freedom from demons right now and we will right now for some several people we will put point some of you have to repent in all things which was connecting you with this world with some kind of things if you have never repented for all your life for all your other um, previous things you are very welcome to come here up front and repent for God to be so free to move in your love, life. And for other people uh, who realize that these demons and these spirits attacked and started to, pre to make pressure uh, on you and started to bring physical problems into your life, 
you want to get this freedom even though you don't don't need the repentance please come here up front we will pray for you for you to get this freedom and among these 29 uh, 29 uh, people who raise up their hands there are actually 35 people who got freedom and who were released and um, eight and uh, 30 and some people noticed improve uh, improvement and other people uh, you can you can check your wallets and uh, check your money and some people they are writing down here that glory to God that pain in neck and in my knee has gone hallelujah thanks to the Lord for those brother who is playing the guitar hallelujah for God's joy stomach is glory to the healer to the one who heals hallelujah I received freedom of my pancreatic gland of mine I'm sorry not from but of my pancreatic gland I felt pressure I felt pressure one sister is writing down but now it is going I'm going out and, and people are writing down about their revelation and that they are having this that they released this and we are having freedom I knew that some people can't hear it can't hear physically because demons they they covered with their pressure that oh it is uh, not true and uh, demons brought lies into your life God has rebuked this demonic influence please come here up front please come and testify this freedom and victory of God's glory in your life glory to you Lord glory to you Lord thank you Lord hallelujah hallelujah thank you Lord for the healing healing of my back and etc etc some people are writing down about their freedom dear friends have you ever repented for whole your life if you've done this please uh, put your put your hand on on your heart on your chest so you are the only one dear brother who 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 has never repented and prayed for all other people other, uh, for all your life and I am praying now for you all people please release uh, mind from doubts Lord rebuke rebuke explode this 18 years old of strong stronghold 
of being under fear in in the name of Yeshua in the name of Yeshua please bring your he this um, lie which came from his father in the name of Yeshua thank you Lord please bless this sister bless Ludmila hug her please let your uh, your father heart speaks to her heart that you were searching for he her while she was searching you and you never you never fail and what you have done in your life when she was eight years old that was not the end you will continue even though many years enemy was doing against her thank you for this salvation for this exodus for this salvation and thank you for all you've done for this exodus when she was uh, 16 years old thank you that you called her to a real service ministry to you but enemy used used lie against her please renew and restore that um, uh, restore your call and your will and show her that your will hasn't is is not ended I congratulate you do you understand my prayer and sister answers that truly and fully and I command you spirit of death I command you to leave him in the name of Yeshua and I say that spirit uh, that blood of Yeshua will cover him and this victory over death and uh, witchcraft which was uh, which, which was covering his mother and came into his life from three-year-old age and didn't give opportunity to uh, receive this breakthrough and didn't give him opportunity to uh, to fly please Lord rebuke this uh, stronghold of witchcraft do you understand so do you understand my prayer and brother says yes that we that his um, grandma and uh, mom of him grandma were connected with witchcraft and they were fortune tellers so I'm asking Lord continue your victory uh, continue and establish your freedom in his life have you ever repented in his life, in your life? In this situation, it is uh, very important to, to declare everything um, directly what you are uh, repenting in. And then we will continue prayer. Он показывает тебе, что нет смысла надеяться на себя. Но он не оставлял тебя даже когда ты оставил. Буквально не на день. И даже когда ты ожесточался, и когда ты говорил не те слова, верю я, Господи, я верующий, он был с тобой. И он не давал тебе сделать еще один шаг, который бы тебя просто бросил в пропасть. Потому что он знал, что ты вернешься. Понятно? Но теперь тебе нужно просто решительное покаяние, решительно отрезать себя, 
от всего, что тебя отделяло от Бога, и по-настоящему не только соединиться с Господом, но подчиниться той духовной власти, без которой тебя будет шатать опять. Понятно? Это очень важно. Во имя Ишуа, Господь. Благодарю тебя. Во имя Ишу. Благослови Боже свободы. Благослови Господи окончательным освобождением от этих семейных проклятий. И пусть тот лживый дух, который убеждает, что снова и снова он будет повторять одно и то же. Имени Мишуа я приказываю тебе молчать. Аллилуйя. Друзья, Друзья, спасибо всем, кто был с нами, все, кто сегодня не съехал с этой шабатной дистанции. Я вас поздравляю. И мы хотим, чтобы каждый из вас, с чем бы и с кем бы вы ни сражались, чтобы вы одержали победу в Господе, и чтобы это была решительная победа, и чтобы никто не продолжал ходить по кругу, но чтобы эти замкнутые круги были разорваны, и чтобы вы могли подняться над ними, потому что этого хочет Господь, который вас очень сильно любит. Пишите нам, что в этом шабате Господь уже сделал, и мы продолжим идти дальше вместе. Шаббат шалом. It's a miracle. I've witnessed miracles before, but to experience one myself right here? Glory to Jesus. Glory to God. Because the, the body of Christ was leading the worship. They, they were the ones involved. It, it, it didn't need someone else saying, do this or let the light be on me. It was everybody worshiping the Lord together. And it was just such a pure um, expression of worship. 
Um, and that's, that's really what I love. It's a miracle. I've witnessed miracles before, but to experience one myself right here, glory to Jesus, glory to God. Because the, the body of Christ was leading the worship. They, they were the ones involved. It, it, it didn't need someone else saying, do this or let the light be on me. It was everybody worshiping the Lord together. And it was just such a pure um, expression of worship. Um, and that's, that's really what I love.